Rich on a symbolic night for Detroit's Jewish community, a very special guest graced Menorah in the D. Huntington Woods native Danny Fenster, who spent months in jail in Southeast Asia, was on hand to help light the menorah. Fox 2's Camille Neary joins us live with more from Fenster. Hi, Camille. Well, hello. Good evening to all of you. Yes, it was an absolutely beautiful evening down here in downtown Detroit. Danny Fenster on hand. We got a chance to talk to him about the things that he's been doing and the things he's looking forward to. A joyous night in downtown Detroit as people gather on this first night of Hanukkah for the menorah in the D celebration at Campus Martius. Danny Fenster being honored at the event. The journalist, originally from Huntington Woods, was released from jail in Myanmar earlier this month after being held captive by the government and charged with unsubstantiated crimes as a journalist exposing a military coup. Tonight, Menorah and the D, the entire Jewish community and the city of Detroit welcome and embrace the Danny. It is an extended family celebration. We caught up with Danny before the event. Can't imagine a better community to come home to, uh, and that's just it's just made an already great, joyful situation even more joyful. Uh, just had a lot of love and, and appreciation back at home here in Detroit, in Metro Detroit, and the Jewish community and the wider community. It's just been incredible. The journalist tells us a lot has been going on since he has returned home. It's been great just reconnecting with my brother and my parents. Uh, my wife arrived on uh, Thursday on Thanksgiving morning, and so we've just been spending as much time together as possible. Danny says right now it's just too soon to say what he'll be doing next. I'm still pretty committed to Frontier Myanmar, the team that I was with, um, but what that commitment is going to look like is, you know, we're, I'm, I'm in discussions with them still right by their side. Um, we're going to see what the future has to offer. And Danny says that it was really, it's been a whirlwind these past couple of weeks. He actually got out of that jail in Myanmar, came home. His, she says, he says his wife didn't even know exactly what was going on. Everything was happening so fast. There was definitely some time of uncertainty where she didn't know what was going on and that they were separated. But of course, on Thanksgiving Day, reunited, you saw the photographs, some very, very happy and special times. Of course, everybody down here for this very special night, of course, also in downtown Detroit. Reporting live, Camille and Mary Fox 2 News. And Camille, it is so incredibly fitting with this festival of lights that he's able to bring to light some of the things that happened to him that he had to deal with. I wonder how he's handling all of this international attention. You know, it's an interesting question. I'm glad you brought that up. He is so humble. I mean, he is just, we didn't really have anything set up formal at the last minute. We were able to get this interview. The media all gathered together. We said, we'll just take a couple minutes of your time. He just walked up and he's just very laid back, very chill, very gracious. And just is like, hey, you know, I'm happy to be back. He says downtown Detroit looks great. He hasn't been back here in a couple of years because he was working overseas. So um, I know whatever he does next, it's going to be amazing. He's just a great guy, very humble and just very gracious for all this attention. He really did no idea that all of this was going on here behind the scenes when he was away. Back and, to you. And certainly as fellow journalists, all of us have so much respect for what he has been able to do and what he endured. Thank you so much, Camille and Mary, live for us tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely.